Hey guys, welcome back to more Wildcard. Hopefully you're all doing very well. For those of you wondering what that is, Wildcard is a Tale of Two Waste Sons mod list, which essentially uh, merges Fallout 3 and New Vegas into one coherent game. Last time we left off, we made our character. We uh, stepped foot out into the Capital Wasteland for the first time. Did a little bit of exploration. I found a school. We decided to go within the school. It turned out to be a bad choice because now we're trapped in here with a crap load of raiders who are infinitely more uh, geared out than I am. I have two rounds left. Although, I do have another gun. We got a 32 with three rounds in that. We got a 9 mil. We got some uh, switchblades. We have a machete as well. So, you know... We're not unarmed is uh, the main thing. We're just uh, very woefully unprepared. So we're gonna have to go back to the lower level because we need to go back out the other door. We need to go back out that door. In order to go back out that door, we may need to go through some baddies, namely him. Good beginning. Very good beginning. We wanted that, we needed that, and we got that. I should only leave one left. Now, was he the one with the automatic? I don't know. Oh, different area. Do we pick the right way? No. Go back through. We're fine. I'm gonna want to check that body. Where'd the body go? Was he all the way back there? If so, good shot from me, I must say. Oh, yeah, that's what we like. That's the good shit right there. Okay, we got two headshots. Oh, I think we just took out the main uh, level of resistance in this level, man. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, and I think he had an automatic on him. We're going to have to go and check that. No, we got one left. He could be right on top of me. Where is he? Around that corner? He's coming around here? He could be right around that corner right there. Either way, I'm delighted we took out the uh, main two. That one with the automatic kicked my ass. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go around and actually uh, pilfer him real quick. I'm going to take the uh, bullet casings as well. If we get somewhat proficient with uh, bullet smithing, then we might be... It might be a good idea for me to pick those up whenever and whenever we can. I need you to not move. Can you do that for me, my dear? I right, come back. Notice your guy's dead. You're not really searching. That's good. We like that. I don't want to get too close. We have no idea what the hell she has. I don't want to get too close now. She comes back out the store. We should be able to nail her. In more ways than one. That'll do. There's no one else. Oh, a combat uh, submachine gun. Nine millimeter, okay. Take the casing, take the bottle cap. What did you have? Ooh, 357 Magnum! Get in the van, beautiful. Little cheeky F5, right then. Let's see what we got here. So we now have a combat submachine gun. Kind of looks like a Thompson uh, to me. So we got 24 rounds in the, uh, in the mag. Zero in reserve. Okay, so that's the way out. Brilliant. Beautiful, we like it. But, you know, now that I am fairly safe... Wonder glue. I do, uh, might give the place a little bit of a once-over, shall we? Yeah, just make sure that we're not... Oh my god. Just make sure we're not, uh, you know, leaving anything useful behind. Like a conductor, for example. There we go. Oh, I thought that was a mine that's a desk fan. Oh my god. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, made it out. Thank God. Oh, I thought we'd be trapped in here for a long, long time. We just came in. Oh, danger from what? We're not done yet. We're not done yet, people. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh, we can't even run. Damn it, we left the worst possible area. Or exit, I should say. We, we came at the worst possible exit. We got one to my right who's a little bit high up. I think it's only one, though. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a PPSH. That's what that is. A Russian uh, submachine gun. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it might actually be better for me to go back in. And leave the, uh, leave through the exit that we came in. Oh, there's one right there as well. Oh no. Oh no. They can tank a full mag. Oh my god, they can tank a full mag, so we're sandwiched as we leave. Interesting. Okay. Switch it up. Go back to the 10 mil, maybe? DPS goes down by quite a bit. DPS and 121, it's not even taking them out uh, that quick. Condition is also quite awful. Do you have a 9 mil pistol? So at the moment, I think we're fairly safe. We're not in the line of sight of any of them. Yeah, he knows where I am. That guy's running to my location, I think. This is bullshit. Come out and fight. You know, I almost feel sorry for this poor bastard. Almost Not sure. <laughs> Not sure. We're in a bad spot. Ah, okay. Gonna move slowly. It's the fact that they're all high up. We're in, we're in a we're in a meat grinder at the moment. Yeah. Take the leg off now. Which get like directly under them. It's one way to keep safe. Now nah, we're gonna die again. We don't do anywhere near enough damage. So we got one in the uh, dilapidated bathrooms as well. Ugh, not ideal. I wonder do I pick a different outfit maybe to kind of help me out? I need to get headshots. There's really nothing else for it. I need headshots to uh, get through this. So we got the uh, two 10 mil pistols. This one here just seems way better. My problem is we have three rounds. It's the one up here. Look at the little boy playing tough guy. <laughs> no, I'm trying to play a live guy. Let's go back in. Did I survive? No. Oh, we definitely died. <laughs> oh, we died while we were trying to switch uh, the scene. Uh, that's kind of funny. Okay, we have to go back in the way we came. That's not the way out that we want. Now they could, of course, come in. Now if they do, we should be able to deal with them. We'll see. Yeah, we're currently dehydrated again. Damn, man. Let's take uh, more purified water. How badly dehydrated am I? Oh my god. We gotta check our guy. Uh, miscellaneous, maybe? I wonder is there a place for me to check that? Stats, yeah. H2O. H2O at the moment is... So if it gets down to like a thousand, we are going to die. Right. Interesting. Fair enough. Well, at least now we're back at a point now where we are somewhat safe. Okay, cool. So H2O is uh, 6 to 9. So if we take... Gunt items, we're going to aid, we take a Nuka Cola. Will that help me? Surely that helped quite a bit with the uh, dehydration issue? Not really, no. We're just that badly, uh, that badly hit by it. Now we're already there, we gotta go back. So that area actually doesn't lead to anywhere. Let's go try this uh, room. Let's try this room real quick. Oh, I hear ya. Oh, I do hear ya. Oh, we were here before. We were here before, people. Beautiful, that's what I like to say. Yeah, we were definitely here before. Great. This could actually be the main way out. 
We won't actually have to run into any more of them. Yeah, we killed you. Yes. Isn't it like through here, I think? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is, baby. We came in through this room. That's the main exit. Oh, let's get the hell out of here, man. Oh, thank God. What a nightmare of a location. Now we can actually get out of here and feel somewhat safe. Okay, so having gone through this area, we're coming out a little bit dehydrated, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of, uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to drink a shitload of water. But we are coming out with quite a few items in regards to weaponry. A couple of 10 mils, a 32, a 9 mil, and a combat SMG along with a 357 Magnum. Overall, not a bad little excursion. Did we die half a dozen times? Yeah. But you know what, at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, you know, playing on a hardcore profile on very hard difficulty, we are going to have to learn. We're gonna have to learn. The more we do that, the better we'll get. But our main issue at the moment is gonna be a reliable source of uh, drinking water. Anyway, let's make our way into Megaton, shall we, for the first time. Let's see what the fine folk down there have to uh, have to offer me. I think we actually came out with a fair amount of caps too. Are we getting combat music? I don't think we are. No, oh, no, something down there. Oh god, hello. Giant worker ant. Ugh. What do you have for me? You got a whole lot of nothing. Oh, we can open you up. No, I can give it things, okay. I thought by open it meant I could, like, uh, butcher it. Okay. I don't know, could we become incredibly proficient with the uh, PPSH? It's a possibility. Hello, we got sludge water. Can I drink that out of curiosity? Oh, rads, okay, get away from that. It would kill me anyway. Oh, we got a Protectron. Oh. Got people. Should probably put the weapon away. Giant ant. Oh, you're a crow? You're a caravan guard. Or that could just be your name. Hello. Welcome, welcome. My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. Oh yeah? What do you have? Uh, actually, can you repair anything? Uh, ideally, the PPSH, its condition is awful. Yes, but only if it wants to be repaired. Uh, can we even select it? I dare say we cannot, can we? 465 caps. Oh yeah, we don't, uh, we don't have that. Apparently we only have 11 caps, oh dear. So tell me about your caravan. My caravan sells clothing and armor to decorate and protect the body while it endures the ravages of the physical world. My travels take me from Canterbury Commons to where there is true need of this protection. After all, this is what they'll pay the most for. I see. Well, we probably won't be able to afford anything, but what do you have? If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Yeah, again, we only have 11 caps. Uh, sell, like, you do sell some items really on the cheap cheap, though. Get some Wasteland Wanderer outfits for two caps. I mean, that's pretty good. Actually, buy that, I think. This condition could be a bit better, though. We've got a Wasteland Settler outfit. Light armor. Value of 12. Get a bit more agility and endurance from that. All right. Like a Storm Chaser hat? So can we buy the Settler outfit? No. No, we cannot. Maybe the Wanderer outfit, though. It's half out. It's half in good nick. Let's see, is there anything we want to sell, though? We don't want you. We're definitely going to sell you, I think. Uh, Tribal Raiding Armor. We have no need for that. It's not how we roll. Um, so we're going to get 24 caps. I get rid of that uh, expired stim pack, the wonder glue, definitely. Ragnarok the Barbarian. I think we actually have to read that. Conductor can definitely go. Keep the bobby pin, so we get 34 caps. So now we can buy 
the uh, Wasteland Settler outfit, along with the hat. Or maybe, do you have, like, a better hat? I have a hockey mask. Again, unarmed is not where we lie, though. This will give me plus one perception, but we already have ten. So that's going to be nothing. Cryolator for 1,500 caps. My god. What about a motorcycle helmet? It's not going to give me anything, but it could look cool. That and the biker goggles, but no. That's only going to be primarily aesthetic. Uh, okay, we'll just go with the uh, with what we bought. That's fine. Cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. A pleasure doing business with you. I have to go now. Walk well, friend. I'll try. I'll try to live long enough as well. And we got the lovely Protectron up here as well. Great. Let's see what we got here. Do we look good? Uh, we look poor. We look very, very poor. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah, we uh, we all got strats somewhere, eh? So again, it was the melee weaponry and the speech we're getting off that. This one get a little bit more agility and endurance. I see that as a fairly okay trade-off. Who do we have here? Mickey. Oops, sorry, Mickey. Please, do you have any water? I'm so thirsty. What is this place? It's Megaton. Have you been living in a hole or something? Everyone's heard of Megaton. They have plenty of water in there, but they only give it to residents or people who can pay for it. I'm gonna need us. I'm in uh, I'm in bad nick. Will I need any water to? I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. Ah, sorry, man. I drank all mine. I don't have any. But please, if you find some, please. I'll do my best, Mickey. Maybe when we're in there and we can uh, get our own water, I'll come back out to you. Hopefully you'll still be alive. What do you have here? Pony Express drop box. Oh. Welcome to Megaton. Friendliest town around. I believe you. Let's have a little chat with uh, the guards. I'm just here to protect the merchandise. I believe you. What do you have on you there? Is that a BAR or is that an FN foul? FNFL, maybe? Uh, it could be. Yeah, no, it definitely didn't uh, look like a bear. Welcome to Megaton. Welcome to Megaton. At the center of Megaton's crater sits an un. Oh, dead. hello? Another newcomer. Didn't really get a chance to read that. Hey there. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. You like a little bit of clipping with your beard there. It's kind of look like kind of looks like you have a bit of a Hitler stash going on. Ah, um, that's funny. So uh, you know about the vault? Sorry, I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Okay. Some middle-aged guy wearing a Vault 101 uh, jumpsuit and a Pip-Boy, I think we already asked him that. What's going on with the bomb down there, man? What about it? Well, does everyone know enough about it to, you know, make sure it doesn't go off? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Of course they do. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Well, we gave myself a lot of intelligence, I think. We have science as a trait. I might actually be able to. We'll see. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Ah, not bad. Uh, we're, uh, we're not going to get that, though, are we? I'll take a look at it. Great. Go ahead and see what you can do. Just be careful. Hey, I'll try. I will try. Oh, man, yeah, our speech isn't really all that high. Um, all right, then. Uh, what about directions around town? Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? So, uh, closest clinic. Our clinic is down in the crater, by the bomb. Doc Church is a little rough around the edges, 
but the man's got talent and compassion. Ideal? What about a weaponry dealer? Might be able to sell off some of the guns we have. You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Make some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. I feel like a lot of places are going to be down by the crater. Do we have a bar in town? Sure is. Moriarty's. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. I got Moriarty. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. If I recall correctly, I think Moriarty might actually be a ghoul. What about a general shop? Moira sells all kinds of stuff at her place. Crater side supply. Take a guess where it is. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where can I find a good place to have a nap? Up at Moriarty's at the south end of town. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. I appreciate it. Sure thing. What's on your mind? Oh, know anything about the area outside of Megaton? It's called the Wasteland for a reason. But there are settlements, too, spread all around. The human race is stubborn like that. To the south, you've got Rivet City. But don't bother going to D.C. The place is a war zone. I'll we'll have to go there at some point. And tell me more about Megaton. What do you want to know? What can we know? Well, uh... Oh, we already know about that. All right, shoot. That's it. Good luck. Be careful around that bomb. Oh, my friend, I will do... I will do my best. Well, here we are, the lovely land of Megaton. I can't lie, I may, I may have washed out eyes. I don't know why, that's kind of weird. I swear to God, I'm not blind. So what do we got here? We got welcome, saloon, sheriff, clinic, commons, and luxury apartments on top of that. Hello, who are you? You looking to trade, stranger? Check out Craterside Supply. Well, it seems like you've an issue with the uh, the piping situation. What can we like? Can we get some of that water in our in our gob? Ah, shame. Yeah, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to get some of that. Hello. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Craterside Supply can help you. Watch out though, she's different. God, look at that bomb. Uh, the children of Adam, I assume? Ah, oh, we don't need to steal anything. Is that you, Moira? Oh, Jenny, Jenny Stahl, hello. Now, I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? I need water. I uh, definitely need water. I'm looking for my uh, father. Oh man, you're looking for your dad? That is so sweet. Did he run out on you when you were a kid or something? Our parents died when we were kids. My brother Leo, he's the oldest. He raised my brother Andy and me. It was hard on him, but we turned out okay. But God, you don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry, but I haven't seen your dad. He didn't eat at the Brass Lantern. I'd remember if he did. I'm sure you would. Uh, what do you have on the menu? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. It's really kind of more water uh, that I'm gonna need. I'm going to need. If you have like water, that would be great. I uh, have some Nuka Cola. That's incredibly expensive. Can't even afford one Nuka Cola right now. Super Stim Pack. Oh my god. I take a hot dog off uh, off your hand. I wonder does food go bad? We'll have to keep an eye on that. Some cocktail. Forty nine caps. Do you think I made of money? Take some uh, ant bites as well. Appreciate it. Come back if you're still hungry. So what can you tell me about uh, Megaton overall? Some people hate this place, but I guess that's their right. What the hell do they want out of life? Food, shelter, and safety. Works for me. I ain't heard much, truth be told. I don't really ever leave the lantern. Too much work. Too few hours in the day, you know? I agree. I definitely agree with that. Well, I do have to go now. Have a good one, stranger. Ah, but of course. Thank you. Uh, what the hell are they doing? Oh, we can go in. Drink the waters of the glow. For this ancient weapon of war is our salvation. It is the very symbol of Atom's glory. Let us serve as a reminder of the division that has occurred in the past. 
and the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam, my friend. Release yourself to his power, feel his glow, and be divided. There shall be no tears, no sorrows, no suffering. For in the division, we shall see our release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Who have we here? Could it be a new addition to our humble little community? Dear child, welcome. Welcome to Megaton. Okay, either, am Confessor Cromwell, either that's some of the worst artifacting I've ever seen, or I'm alone. slowly dying from radiation poisoning. Come to the church it's going to be one or the other. Anytime at all. Oh, I'm looking for my dad. Where could he be? Many of the transient visitors end up at one of Megaton's seedier establishments. I suggest you speak to Colin Moriarty and continue your search there. Oh, thank you, Cromwell. Thank you. Tell me about your church, then. Yes, what would you like to know? Why? Those who were called to Atom during the Great Division were very fortunate. They were permitted to aid in the process of Atom's creation. We seek the same, both in symbol and in fact. And the balm, as you call it, represents Atom's capacity for creation. We kneel before it and ask that Atom call us to aid him. We pray that out of our meager bodies, he will create new life. Well, what do you believe? The Church of the Children of Atom is based on the idea that each single atomic mass in all of creation contains within it an entire universe. When that atomic mass is split, a single universe divides and becomes two, thus signifying the single greatest act of Atom's creation. Occasionally, a divine event occurs, and trillions upon trillions of new universes are created. The last such event took place here, 200 years ago. Oh, you must be begging for that bomb to go off. The lost children of Atom see that event as simple war and devastation, we see creation and unification in Atom's glow. Yeah, you're all, uh, you're all batshits. Each and every one of you. As you wish. Each and every one of you. Rays shower you, child. I know I can see them. My god. Hey, Jenny, how's it going? Yeah, that was uh, me gaining radiation ever so slowly. Behold! He is coming Seriously. with the clouds! That would need explosives. Ah, okay. We can get that. What do you have up here then? You don't need to, uh, you don't need a howitzer, you need, uh, to be a hero. Ah, Kind of wish I had a howitzer though. Let's check out the clinic. Hello? I'm Doc Church and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up, I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. Hmm. Need something to help me concentrate. Uh, what do you actually sell? Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. So what do you got? Ooh, anti-venom. And it makes me think we'll be dealing with uh, snake bites. Oh, you do have purified water. I cannot afford it. Damn it. Oh, we have an MRE. And tats. Um, that'll help me, that'll help me quite a lot, actually. I actually get rid of these, though, I think. Yeah, get rid of that steady on top of it. That'll give me, what, 35. I just need, like, enough to get me some, uh, <laughs> some water. Get rid of that, too. Oh, buy the purified water. Great. I accept. Did you get the purified water? Yes, we did. Lovely. You done? Good. Try to be careful. I'll do my best. Because we need to always keep an eye on, like, how we're doing in regards to our hydration. 
It's very poor at the moment. Well, I think uh, we'll put a cut in here. Yeah, I think we'll definitely put a cut in here. Now that we've actually entered into Megaton, the story can uh, get underway. Our main issues are, of course, going to be water and uh, cap generation. We're going to need money. Or we're going to need lots of it, but yeah. I'm going to leave it off there. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the playthrough. I think I'm definitely going to enjoy playing it. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Never even played New Vegas, so I can't wait to go through that for the first time as well. Have a hell of a good day, guys. I will see you all very, very, very soon. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.